Hi, I'm right. Velma. <laughs> okay, and I'm Eric of and Velma's, Velma's Wicked, Wicked Delicious, Delicious Kettle, Kettle Corn. Corn. Right. And we've been popping uh, for a while now, and we decided to make a uh, book on our, on our experiences and how perhaps you can get into the kettle corn business. I'm to share with you uh, what we've learned right, we've over been, the years. Yep, we've been sort of up and down the East Coast, uh, popping in Florida. And if and somebody had told us all of this stuff when we first started... Yeah, we would be so much It would have been ahead. very helpful. Yes. You might be asking, well, how can they afford to give their secrets away? Right. <laughs> yes, it's a regional, local thing, right? Yes. So we're not going to be driving out to Indiana someplace. We're not going to be your competitor. Right. You're not going to be ours. Yeah, so we can tell you what we know, and here it is. Start your own kettle corn business. We're going to flip through the, uh, the PDF book. Just so, so you can see uh, what, see what we're what having. You're getting. Yeah. And uh, right off the bat, we're going to show you how much you can make with kettle corn. We list all the ingredients uh, down to the penny. And we can. Yep, so you can yeah. uh, determine your costs and profits. Right. Right down there. And uh, we also tell you how fast you can cook uh, kettle corn and what are the profits like on a basically hourly basis. Uh, you can figure that out uh, for a whole day. And health departments is another big topic that we go over. Uh, yep. They're looking for all sorts of wacky things. There's, um, there's all sorts of uh, permits that may yep. be involved. It, it right. really varies from location to location. Right. And we go over all this in the yeah. document here. Insurance, do you need it or not? What other items will the health department what be looking, looking for? for? And specifically, in and how much of equipment. Right. And how much that's going to cost you to start up your biz. Yeah, um, all these hidden things that we didn't realize right, when we started. Right. And equipment. Then we go specifically what kind of equipment, what, what's out there. We give you links to all the sites. There's different types of equipment. There's different styles, can, yeah. different models of, of poppers. Um, do you want a big one, a smaller one? Uh, they got electric ones out there, uh, auto stirring ones. We go over all this. Um, I also had an exchange with someone who built their own popper. Uh, yeah, I have, I have all the email here, and you can see uh, how that came out. Tents, we go over, uh, generally you'll be needing a tent of some yeah. sort. What requirements? What are the costs, and, uh, where you can find it, uh, some additional equipment uh, that you'll a, there's need. There's a lot of uh, small things that you might not think of when you're first starting out. Right. That uh, we learned through being on the spot and saying, geez, I could have used that. Right, and you probably will need, be needing a sink, and we've gone over in de great detail all the links, uh, what kind of sinks are there, what kind of styles of sinks, what the health department is looking for. Uh, can you even perhaps fake your own sink? Uh, we show you how that's been done. Uh, you probably need a trailer to pull all your stuff. All your stuff around. And I show how to load it up and sort of some, sort of some of the um, modifications I've done to my trailer. You can see some other trailers that other people have done. There's all sorts um, of different ways you can set up your business. Yeah. Obviously, some people don't use a tent. Right. And then we go off the total cost of equipment. Uh, as an example, I break it down from the We Went Nuts package. If, you, if money's no object, the reasonable package, uh, what we own. And basically, another version of, of, of if you're very poor and just want to get into the, uh, the business on a minimal cost, we have that. We have all the links um, to all the equipment manufacturers and basically what's the price of, e of each and the additional equipment you'll probably need. We go into supplies, uh, where to find them, what kind you're looking for uh, to set up a kettle corn business. Uh, where to buy them, you'll probably have to find them locally, but you want to know what you're looking for. Variations and in ingredients that you might want to yeah. explore. The addition, additional like equipment you'll need uh, to actually make kettle corn and basically how to, how, to package how to package it. Yep. Different ways to package it. All right, gigs. Where do you get gigs? We've basically done all yep. one, one of each. We've gone to some of the huge state fairs. This is a big... The big thing. big thing, yeah. To be, where do you find um, it doesn't employment? Doesn't do you any good to get all this stuff if you don't have an idea where you can go. Right, and we'll show you what kinds are, are profitable than others, and you'll be surprised that some you, know, you think it's not you know, what you might think. Right. Then we have links and resources, which uh, I have a whole list of links to uh, directories online to find craft shows, farmers markets, uh, places that we would be popping, promotional stuff. I've got some good stuff on, on how to uh, promote your website and search engine optimization to make sure your website won't be lost. Yeah, different ways um, to uh, get publicity and yeah, market and yourself. Yeah, and it's very nice when, when people contact you instead of you having to track down people uh, and hopefully you know, they'll allow you to pop. Uh, additional goofy little um, promotional items and how you can promote yourself uh, is also on there. 
All right, retail sales. We tried retail sales for a little while. We're going to give you the spiel we'll on share that. Share our experiences right? with that. We'll show you what the costs per bag for retail are and the additional costs you will need to basically get into the retail biz. And then we have a section on making kettle corn. Uh, it goes into all the exactly ingredients. Exactly how we do it. Yeah. Uh, what are the proportions? Uh, we'll give you the, a good idea of what to expect. Right, the process. The actual process. We also go into uh, problems with your popping. As an example, maybe you have too many burned pieces in your kettle corn or there's some unpopped kernels. We answer some of the questions that you might have if something goes wrong. Yeah. We have a section on acquiring customers. Right, or making and new especially addicts. especially how to get repeat <laughs> business. Yeah. Okay, and then <laughs> Vilma, and Then we have a section rants. on... on just the day-to-day -day details of being out there and popping and dealing with the public. Right. Once you're on location, you'll discover that there's a lot of little things that you really wanted to have there, and we list them all for you. And also, I go into cleaning the kettle, which is a whole process into itself. Not just the kettle, but right. the, the cleanup the, in itself it takes quite a bit of your time. Right. Setting up and cleaning up, and we'll go into the details of that. Right. At the end, we do a wrap-up and summarize everything, all the key points that we've... Uh, gone into detail in the document. Because we've done the research for you, reading this document will save you a lot of time. Right, where to find everything, what the equipment, what, what will you need before you spend any money. Uh, All this stuff the took us ages right. to research and learn. Right, and also uh, basically we'll become your mentor. We'll have, you'll have my email address. Um, and if you have any questions uh, about regarding the equipment, supplies, starting up, finding gigs, uh, if we can help you, we'll, we'll help you. Thank you for okay. listening to us, yep. and, and we hope you buy our book. Happy popping and happy munching. <laughs>